Elemento is a collaborative exhibition, or two unique exhibitions within one. Elemento is about uh, inclusion and about connectivity. It's about connecting with uh, my people, connecting with my practice, and having moved down to the south coast, about reconnecting with nature. Elemento is part of a five year series, and we're excited to take Elemento to New York City. So beautiful, walking through, and there's such a progression of works. There's, you know, you start out with this blockbuster of a work, and it just tells a story throughout, and Caesar has captured every moment so beautifully. The name of my part of Elemento is Contrapunto, which is a Spanish word for counterpoint. The series is it's a study in contrast, yeah? contrasting ideas about scale. So there's the macro and the micro, there's the polychroma and the monochroma, the material and the abstract. My part of the exhibition is called Tawa Lunga. In Samoan, that means dance of life or the final finesse. And I've named it this because my jewelry collection is the final finesse of who I am as an artist and how I've evolved over the last seven years. I love Fanny's work. All of her pieces are so unique and they really speak to me. How they've actually placed it through the exhibition and how you can see Caesar's work through Fanny's work. You pick up these beautiful opal limes and greens and then pick it up in Caesar's work behind it. It's really special. There's a relationship because they're dealing with um, like rare stones that have come from the earth that are millions or billions of years old. And I see with particular contemporary music, it borrows a lot from the past. That's kind of how I relate to the work. I'm going to be the taste element um, of the event. Uh, there's going to be five little tastes of what I read from the work. There's two drinks really. So one is a liquid form, one is a liquid that's a drink transported in a food product that you can actually chew. One of them is very textural and there's a bit of fun where we ask people to do something that's going to take them back to their childhood memories from when they're about three or four. The last one is something that when you look at what you're about to eat, you're going to think one thing, but when you actually eat it, it's going to be something completely different. My favourite piece are some boulder opals and I just love that they're not uniform and they speak to me because the cut of the opal, it comes through like the Great Barrier Reef. It really brings kind of the essence of Australia. My absolute favourite though is a work in the other room and it's like the female form. It's so beautiful and feminine and, but it's got this insane orange and these soft blush pink, you know, together and it's just, the epitome of feminism. Working at Courtesy of the Artist and that kind of collaboration that she's been doing has brought out really a significant dimension in Funny's work. I mean, you saw the essence before, but it's brought to life her creativity, her talent. I mean, it's just exceptional. And I think that pairing has taken things to the next level. I'm really excited about their exhibition in New York. I'm so glad that I invested with her at, uh, at the early stages because I'm afraid I won't be able to afford her, you know, in the next year or so. We do hope to kind of travel it around as well, abroad, as well as in other places of Australia. So we'll be kind of deciding that as we go along. It's organically just grown, which is what's been so special about this whole project. Watching it unfold, watching Caesar and Funny talking about this show, watching where it's gone, it's beautiful that has come to this now and the dreams and where they want to take it is really, really special. It's a beautiful harmony of them together.